Smoke filling the air near Israel's border with Gaza as the Biden administration urges Israel to do more to protect civilians there. Greg Palcott live in southern Israel with the very latest. Greg. Hey, Todd. Uh, Carly, yeah, we are now into month three of the Israel-Hamas war. And from our vantage point here, just about a mile from the Gaza Strip, we can tell you it is intensifying. Just in the past couple of minutes, we saw Hamas-fired rockets right over our location. Luckily, the Israeli Iron Dome defense system seemed to have knocked them all out of the sky. Israel reporting some 450 Hamas targets hit in Gaza in the last 24 hours. We've been seeing signs of that again by the air, by sea, by land. Through the night here in southern Israel, we heard the constant pounding of artillery aimed at the terrorists. Most treacherous, though, guys, this massive Israeli ground operation, especially in southern Gaza, that's where the Hamas stronghold is believed to be. Uh, there is house to house to house fighting. Two more Israeli soldiers today killed, bringing their casualty toll in this phase of the fighting to 92 soldiers. Of course, civilians in Gaza taking a huge battering as well. One-time safe areas to which they fled now being hit. Hamas-run health ministry uh, totals put the death toll at over 16,000. More aid now being promised by both Israel and the United States. Uh, by the way, uh, Todd and Carly, Secretary of State Blinken recently said there is no deadline for Israel to finish up its operation here, but... This is important, but he expects major fighting to be finished within a month. That means early January. Remember also waiting those 130 plus hostages inside the Gaza Strip behind us, including, it is believed, eight Americans. A lot of people watching. Back One to you. One more weeks. Extremely complicated. Greg Palcott, thank you. Thank you.